willkommen zurück im Atelier von L'Oréal Paris. Hier haben wir einen ganz, ganz besonderen Gast heute mal, die Eva Yen. Und sie ist ein Color Expert bei L'Oréal. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. How did you even come to this job? I've been in the beauty industry um, basically my entire career. Got two degrees. First was in fashion, where I really learned the instrumentals of color, um, color theory. And after that, I went and studied cosmetics and fragrance, actually. So it was more of a specialized degree. So from then on, I have been always working on beauty. I think based on everything and all my roles and responsibilities in other companies as well, I think it just really made me a perfect fit for this job. So yeah, that's true. <laughs> that you're very lucky to, to have this position. How can I imagine a day in your work life? Do you have an office? Like, do you work in an office? How, how is it? Yes, I work in the head office at L'Oreal. Um, every day is different. You know, every day is exciting and that's what makes it such a great job. Yeah. You know, a major portion of it is I work with my team and, you know, we're going over makeup concepts, looking at different colors. That's a big part. Another is actually being on site at the labs with yeah. working with the chemist. They're fantastic. I'm validating colors, formulas on site with them. Um, just really making the magic happen with them. Mm -hmm. And of course, there is the wonderful um, extra job with the communications team where I get to meet people as fabulous as you and, you know, talk about inspiration and colors and makeup. So That's it's a so total joy. Cool. What is your favorite lipstick on you? For me, I always love a good red lip. Oh, me too. <laughs> so, it's so simple, right? But it's like changing the whole outfit. Yes, red is really a color that shows femininity in the best way. It's a power yeah, color, it's true. a fiery color, it's a strong color, but you really need to pick the right red for your skin tone yeah, this so is, that it makes you feel confident. This is my next question, how to find the perfect color, not even red, because everyone has another skin tone. Yes, you have to understand your skin's undertone. And cold this, and warm, yes, right? Yes, cold, um, warm, and then there's some people that are neutral. Oh. So for example, if you are a golden or warm undertone, you tend to be the person that have skin that is very easily, um, can tan under the sun. You can wear a lot of the warm jewelry. So for example, yellow gold, those things can make I you feel the most me. comfortable. Exactly. Um, you are definitely a warm. Um, a cool undertone person is actually someone that has- Sunburn. Exactly. You could be very fair or you could be the deepest African of skin and you could still be a cool undertone. Really? Yes. Um, and there's tends to be more more blue in the in the undertones. Um, oh. You will see someone that gets a little bit more rosiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. you have to wear more silver and platinum kind of jewelry. You feel happier in pastel colors, um, things like this. That's definitely someone that is a cool undertone. That is so interesting. Can you show me now a warm and a cold lipstick? For sure. Um, if you're looking at our Matte Addiction lipsticks, I have a perfect example for you here. Talking about earlier the color red. Mm -hmm. So the first one I'm going to show you is 347 Eau de Rouge. I'm just going to stripe your arm here. You can see there that there's blue undertones in a red. It's a really fiery, a classic red, a power red. Yeah. And the second one, 346 Scarlet Silhouette. Oh, that's more like an orange undertone, right? Yes, so there's more yellow in the red. Also hier sehen wir ganz genau, es ist ein blauer Unterton. Und das hier hat mehr Gelbinhalt. Man kann ganz leicht erkennen, okay, wenn ich jetzt einen kühlen Hautton habe, dann steht mir das besser. Wenn ich einen warmen Hautton habe, lieber das. So is it only if you're warm, like skin tone, you can only wear warm lipsticks? Definitely not. I say there's no restrictions in color. Okay. Um, if you want to look the most harmonious and, you know, more natural, of course you would use the same undertones as your skin yeah. to have, you know, the most elegant, kind of confident look to look in harmony. But if you want to have an attention grabber, you're going to use the opposing color, the contrast undertone on your skin. Also, um einen harmonischen Look zu kreieren, dann solltet ihr euch schon eure Haut anpassen und wenn ihr einen warmen Unterton habt, dann auf jeden Fall einen warmen Lippenstift. Aber wenn ihr mal so einen, weil ich trage eigentlich einen kühlen Lippenstift, obwohl ich ja einen warmen Hautton habe. Und das poppt deswegen auch so stark heraus. How do you like, okay, this color will be trendy now, this color will be the color of the year. Travel. 
Um, because I'm creating colors for all around the globe, I go to major cities um, and even small cities and see what the girls are wearing, trying to get the pulse of you know, what's happening in terms of what they're using as makeup, where they're going to hear music, what, where are they shopping, and how, how are they shopping even. Um, yeah. Just to see, you know, overall what's going on, and for sure, fashion, of course, because we are, you know, official partners with Paris Fashion Week, and seeing what, you know, is happening in terms of the clothes. Sometimes the fabrics have amazing finishes on it, or even different textures that get translated into the formula. So, metallic dress, you know, becomes a very interesting finish for a metallic lip, for True. example. And also, you know, we have exclusive partnerships with, you know, certain designers that we get to do um, the runway for. So, of course, you know, in terms of collaborative spirit, there's a lot of um, inspiration from them in yeah. colors. So, what are the trends right now? in terms of colors and textures? Overall, the trends are going to be very, very warm. Why? Kind of, um, you know, lots of reds, lots of deep corals, um, <laughs> a lot of colors that are very um, nature driven. So a lot of deep browns you'll see um, on the lips. Um, and in, in addition, when you look at the other side and not just colors, but finishes, there's a return of the pearl. Um, as well, so you're going to see a lot more. Is is not on the runway anymore that much? Matte is still the most strongest trend. Okay. Don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. but coming on the horizon, you'll see the return of some pearls more in terms of kind of chromatic, holographic things coming oh, out in the future. Okay. How do you think will the trend change? I mean, it's like we have 2017. And what will be 2020? <laughs> 2020, wow, that's going to be a big evolution. I think there will be no holds bar when it comes to color by 2020 in terms of where people's hair color is going to match their lipstick where it's green and green here, where there it's, there's no taboo in color in the future is what I see. That's amazing. So thank you so much. Well, you dress you. Yes. lips. Yes, that's so lips. cool. <laughs> that's a really matching outfit to our talk. Really good. Okay, thank you so so much for being here. Thank you for your time, and you're amazing. Thank, thank you. you for all the pleasure. colors we're wearing. <laughs> thank Looks you. Looks beautiful on you, plum tuxedo. Thank you so much. <laughs>